What's up, everybody? It is so hard now to say no. Saying no to someone, it feels like a dagger in the chest at times because you don't want to upset anyone. You don't want to be like, hey, no, I'm not going to do that for you. You want to be empathetic. You want to be kind. But again, you have to be able to stand on business and tell someone, no, that is not how we're doing it here. That's not what I'm doing. And it is a hard skill. And imagine saying yes is really easy, but saying no is really hard, but you have to know how to say no to someone. Make sure the first step is, again, not succumbing to peer pressure. If someone's forcing you to do something that you don't wanna do, you need to be able to say no. You need to know that self, right? You need to be able to say, mm, that is not something I do. I have that boundary in place, so now I'm gonna say no. Make sure you value yourself, you have self-worth. When you have these things, it's easier for you to say no. You're more confident in your decisions. You're more confident in your abilities. So then you'll be able to say no a lot easier without feeling, mm, maybe I should have. Are they going to like me? Are they not going to like me? Maybe I should just say yes and get it over with. But no, you have to be able to say no to people. When you align your moral compass and understand what you want to do and what you don't want to be doing, that's really important. For example, if someone asks of a favor of you, right, and he knows it's going to take all day, but you're really busy and you have so many things to do in your own personal life, you have your own stresses, your own things you have to get done. You could help that person, right? Or you can say, hmm, no, I already had something planned for today. Maybe another day, if possible, I could help. If not, then you gotta be able to say no. You have to be able to be okay with that decision and make that decision because it's the best decision for you at the time. A way to do this is again, is using a firm but polite tone. I mean, we're not saying here to just scream, no, and scream as loud as you can. We're just saying, hey, no, I won't be able to do that. And you don't even have to give an example or a big reason as to why. You can just say no. Again, you can tell someone what you're doing and why, but you don't really have to. But just make sure you use the I, right? Like, hey, I cannot do that today. Be like, yeah, not doing that. You see the difference? It's a little more rude. So make sure you're actually communicating and having a good sense of human to your conversation. Make sure you do express that appreciation though. Say someone invited you somewhere and you just can't go. Be like, hey, thank you for inviting me, but yeah, I won't be able to attend. Another thing is when you do say no, make sure you do stand your ground. And now as everyone's saying like stand on business, right? Make sure you do that. And like I said before, maybe ask for an alternative. Like, hey, maybe I can do it this day or this day, but I can't do it today. So again, offer the alternatives, be empathetic, and again, be a real person. Have that conversation. Saying no is one of the hardest things sometimes to do, especially when you're a people pleaser, especially when you don't want to upset anyone. But being able to say no is a skill. And again, say no with your chest. Really mean it, but politely. And when you say no, you'll be able to actually kind of align yourself to things that you want to say yes to. It'll be more clear as to what you want to be spending your time doing. Because again, we only have 24 hours a day. So make sure you use your time wisely. Thank you guys again for tuning in to another episode. I want to know what you think about it. Is it hard for you to say no? What are times that you said no that you were really happy you said no to? And what are some times where you kind of got coerced or you kind of felt like, damn, I wish I would have said no. I'd love to hear your stories. So again, be sure to like, share, subscribe. I love the engagement. I love the comments. It really makes me happy to see people engaging with it and like leaving their opinions. It's just awesome to hear so many people's different stories. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next week. See you later.